The 1115 waiver and state plan are the two policy documents the state uses to determine how Medicaid serves the people of Arizona. The state plan is an agreement between Arizona and the federal government that describes how the state runs its Medicaid program, including how it determines eligibility, which benefits and services it provides, and how providers are paid for services. As needed, Access amends the state plan to add or change parts of Arizona's Medicaid program. These changes are called state plan amendments. We call them SPAs for short. Every SPA must meet federal Medicaid requirements and be approved by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the federal agency known as CMS. SPAs are negotiated with CMS and approved on a case-by-case -case basis. Once CMS approves a SPA, it is a permanent change to the Arizona Medicaid program. Each SPA takes effect on its unique start date. The U.S. government created the Medicaid program in 1965 to provide health care services for children, pregnant women, and people who are elderly or disabled. Each state operates their own Medicaid program, but states can ask the federal government to waive the traditional Medicaid rules and allow them to make additions or changes. That's where a waiver comes in. A waiver is used to make program changes that a SPA cannot. For example, in Arizona, it's the waiver that allows the state to enroll members in managed care, to provide long-term services to people in their homes, and allow members to receive all of their health care needs, physical and behavioral, from their health care plan. However, these changes must be renewed every five years and must be budget neutral for the federal government. So, every five years, Access must submit a waiver renewal to explain to CMS how the state will provide services to enrolled Medicaid members. In the renewal, Access asks CMS to continue current programs, add new ones, or discontinue programs. Sometimes programs are added due to new state laws. Waiver renewal is a long process. First, Access decides which parts of the waiver to keep, what to change, and what to add. Then we hold public meetings to ask Access members and the public for their comments and feedback. CMS reviews our proposal and we begin conversations about additions or changes. Once Access and CMS reach an agreement, the waiver is approved usually by the end of the federal fiscal year. To learn more about SPAs and the waiver, go to www.azaccess.gov.